all this, plus a revolutionary time-filling concept in motoring technology, the Mitsutoshi Bonsai Garden. <laughs> and when nature calls, the snail has the answer. The snail. It's the car for you and everybody else. The snail. It's the crap car of the mountains. Come to East Coast Tech. people who can't take anything seriously. <laughs> to the office, actually. It's healthier, and you get to meet a lot more people that way. <laughs> Dan Eddy, old son. Randy Royal in Frog Hump Jump. If there's time, it's a natural. I think if we could persuade her to smarten herself up a bit, she I was just telling Michelle how well you're doing. Yeah, well, I think I'm really getting the hang of it now. Well, you can't really learn how to sell. If you can do it, you can do it. There are no great secrets. Just some rather confusing small print. I was wondering if you could uh, explain the commission system a little more fully. Yes, certainly. If you feel you're that committed already. Well, um, this is a copy of Michelle's contract, and uh, this is a letter you sent her explaining why you wouldn't pay her the £1,500 she thought she'd earned. What's this about, Michelle? Michelle isn't satisfied with the answers she got yesterday. No, I'm not. I'm sorry, but I don't see what this has got to do with you. And I have no intention of discussing the company's business with you. Make no mistake about that. No, 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 you don't have to discuss anything with me. Uh, but since we're here with all these trainees, I thought I'd suggest a far more wide-ranging conversation with them. 
I'll tell them how the small print in their contracts enables you to screw them out their earnings, and you can explain why that's really such a tremendous idea. And since Michelle's here, it would be very useful for them all to ask her what the job's really about. I think the easiest thing would be for you just to go. Both of you. I think it'd be a lot easier for you to just cough up the money. Believe me. Right, Is well, um, everything all right, Geraldine? Um, perhaps we could uh, find somewhere to discuss a small problem that's arisen, Mr. Harper. Somewhere private. What a good idea. Time, please. No, I'm afraid not. Oh. Well, it's about our, our state. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late to be out, particularly round here. Now, perhaps we ought to see you home. Right? Our rates are very reasonable. Don't. <gasps> no. We'll get a load of the Terminator here. So, <laughs> so what are you? The economy model? <laughs> <laughs> You just give me your hand bag, love. You're right. Yes. That chap we met the other night with Flint. Oh, yeah. Chris. Chris, that's it. Strange company he keeps. You can talk. Sometime between 10.45 and 11.30, an assistant in the shop next door sees a man running past her window, as if he was running away from something. He turns right down Holbein Place. He was in his early 20s. We'll call him our first running man. Was that you? Next, Mr Ginger Beard. At about 11.45, our third character was seen leaving the antique shop. A witness walking past the shop reading a newspaper bumps into this man. He has a distinctive, neatly trimmed beard with a ginger tinge to it. He is seen walking towards a blue-grey Mercedes parked outside the shop. At the same time, the passerby notices Lady Cross inside the shop. Five minutes later, two customers try to get into the shop, but there's no answer. Was Mr Ginger Beard the last person to see Lady Cross alive? Around the same time, a taxi driver... Please. Right. Sharon Watts, is it? That's right. I used to get on all right with them. We understood each other. I ran into one of his old mates the other day. I don't know if you'd remember him. Johnny Harris? Yeah, I remember Johnny. I haven't seen him for ages. Ah, he was having a little celebration down the feathers. Yeah. We just got off a handling chair. Hello, Eddie. I thought I'd pop in, pay you a visit. All right. Got him. What's happened? I'm not sure. Someone must have seen something, mustn't they? Yeah, I did. We fell off that ladder in there, but I'm not sure why. I think you must have taken a belt off some of the old cabling in there. It must still be live. Who's full set? Sorry. What? Here a minute. There's no reason why you can't start back to work in, is there? There's no point in everyone hanging around like vultures. No one's hanging around like a vulture. Yeah, but there's nothing they can do. The ambulance people are taking care of it. So come on, chop, chop, back to work. Are you serious? Of course. There's a bloke lying injured down there. Yeah, we don't know how bad he is, do we? Are you blind? The man is seriously hurt. So what? It's not my problem if he chooses to blow with electric cables now, is it? You really take the biscuit, you There's nothing we can do. 
That's where you're wrong, pal. Nothing happens now till the health and safety people inspect this site. Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you. That's the way it is. So you can stick it where it hurts, mate. Come on, lads. Back to work. Chop, chop. Look, there's a drink in the bit for you tonight, all right? Come on, lads. I mean, are you deaf or what? Look, your jobs are on the line here. Now, just get back in there and stop. Eddie? Yeah, same again. That'll do nicely. Oh, well, well, well. Party time, is it? Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Yes, thank you, Mr. Beale. Care to join us? Now, you just listen here. Here, here. Can I just have a word, please? I'll be with you in a second, okay? I'd appreciate it very much if you didn't talk to my customers like that. Customers? They're messing me about. No, they're not messing me about. They're paying good money for good beer, OK? Been stood up? No, I just can't stand And now we're the best workers he could have. That's right. Great. You see, Ricky, I think even back then, me and your dad knew we'd end up together. That's right, son. True love will always shine. Just a sip of your tea, mate. Cheers. Any chance of some work? I don't think so, Sam. How do you? Oh, I'm all right.